Mm, I'm so happy to be with her. But I'm also really sad because it's been 33 days and I feel like she's just like confused at what's going on. Cause I'm actually here not on FaceTime, but I miss her so much. The experience in Tokyo in general was just super challenging. Um, and I think it was mostly due to the pandemic because of just feeling more isolated, um, kind of feeling more alone. Like we had our own rooms, we were not in the village, we were, um, okay, Charlie, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Are you the real star? No. Yes. Like this part of the our final safety test. I never see through the remainder of the fire. Her ten hour flight coming up. Um, wish us luck. On our way to Japan, it's finally happening. I kind of didn't think it would, but it is. Okay, check in with you when we get to Tokyo. I literally couldn't even get out of bed to make this video. We made it, we're in Miyazaki. Um, oof, that was the longest day ever. But we're here, I'm so tired. It was just a really different Olympics. It didn't really feel necessarily like a major tournament and like the world was watching. Okay, so it's been a few days here so far at Mizaki and this is our field in the back. Right there. Our hotel is like down there. You can't go outside of the hotel at all. Like our phones are tracked. Um, and also we wanted to stay in Japan and not get kicked out. So that was an important piece as well. We also wanted to stay safe and stay healthy and not be at risk of contracting COVID. Okay, I wanted to show you the hotel now that I'm on the top level. It's right there. There's our field. Our gym is on the bottom floor, like two floors down. And the meal room is in that conference center right here. We are at the very top. So mentally, like it was, I think it was harder than physically for me. And then not finishing the way we wanted to, not really playing the way we wanted to, um, just kind of added onto that like difficulty. So yeah, definitely not, <laughs> not what I was expecting, not what I was hoping at, at least. Do, 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 do. It was like a really weird time change. So Charlie was like 13 hours behind me. Um, some of my family in LA, you know, were 16 hours behind me. So it was kind of like, I wake up, I do my COVID test. I boil the water for my French press that I would have every morning. And I would like FaceTime my family. Like first I would FaceTime Charlie and Servando, then I would FaceTime like, uh, my parents or like my siblings or like my good friends. I tried to like keep that connection, um, but I'm also like one of my love languages is like physical touch. And I felt like because I didn't have them there with me, like there was just like a big piece missing. And being away from Charlie from, for so long, like not having my family in the stands or like there to support me, not being able to like really give someone a hug for like over a month, I think that was hard. And just compartmentalizing that and like just trying to focus rather than like allowing myself to feel, um, it kind of like all came in like floods like at the end um, when I got home um, because I was able to finally like digest everything. But in the moment, yeah, it was, it was surreal. It was like very challenging. We aren't invincible and everyone struggles with their own things. 
people don't see it. They see like the 1% or the 0.1%, which is you competing. They don't see like the 99.9% .9 of like what goes into it, the sacrifices that you have to like make. And I felt like when I came home, I had just wave after wave of like emotion, kind of like crying for no reason. Um, you know, I didn't know why I was crying in the moment. I just would tell Sirvana, like, if I just start crying, don't worry. It's not like anything you're like you did or whatever. Like, it's just like a month of like catching up with my with my emotion. Unfortunately, um, the vibe from the first game just like lingered through the tournament. It was just, it was a shock to, to us to like lose 3-0 in the opening match. Um, and not only lose 3-0, but like be completely outplayed from like the first to the last minute. That was like really difficult, but also we were kind of put in a corner where we were like, we have this opportunity to win, still win a medal. Um, yeah, it's not a gold, but we have opportunity to bring home a medal and that's important in itself. And so like, what can we do to like lift each other up and feel more like a team, more than we have felt these last five games? When I landed in LA, I made a Serrano film, me getting Charlie out of bed in the morning. And I was like, you know, what if she like isn't excited? And, and Serrano was like, she's gonna be so excited. Are you kidding me? So I like open the door, she's like awake and I'm like, hey baby. And she's like, like literally she did not know what to think, which was really hard for me. But um, an hour later, she, we were back right back where we were before. This is almost like the first time that I feel like really good with like where I am. Like I feel really good with what I have off the soccer field, the family that I have, the businesses, the business side. Um, and then I, I feel optimistic. I look back at the last five years and the things we've been able to accomplish and um, the things that women in sport have, have been able to accomplish in general. And I'm like, that's incredible. You know, it's, it's so, it's so motivating um, to be able to see that and, and see like my small piece in history being written. It's so important to have a brand like at t investing in women because you see the value that we bring and it's incredible to um, to be partnered with with a company that really that really cares.